Wasn't it wonderful news that Kate Bush was finally in 2023 inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, even though in 2018, 21 and 22, it was suggested that she was, and only this year, after such an elusive and distinguished and celebrated career, has Kate Bush finally been inducted. Shame on all the people that kept her at bay until 2023, because I grew up with this woman thanks to my brother, who was infatuated with her music. But I really wasn't into music as such at that stage, choosing particular artists over others. Although Blondie and, and Debbie Harry caught my attention, I, I admit. And my brother went, you're missing out on Kate Bush's creativity and wonderment. Now, like many other people in the last 10 or 15 years, I've caught up with Kate Bush. And I have to say, this song stood out for me. It's called The Man I Love. And she's actually singing with um, somebody I want to give a little bit of bio to. And he's called Lawrence uh, Adler, who was an American harmonica player. And you'll see him in this video playing the harmonica. He's known for playing major works and compositions by George Gershwin, no other, Ralph Vaughan, Williams, Malcolm Arnold and others. Now, during his latter career, he crossed over into doing guest appearances on videos for pop stars such as Sting, Elton John, and this particular one, Kate Bush, in this particular video called The Man I Love. Now, The Man I Love is a song that I just feel has got the perfect combination of everything to wrap up 2023, because this is my final upload of 2023 and because Kate Bush got inducted finally into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame I feel justifiably justified by playing something by this artist of worth that's given millions of people inspiration millions of artists have been inspired by her she was the first artist that combined dance creativity with music and wrote her own songs and composed her own music. She had it all. In, she was multifaceted, multi-skilled and still underrated in many ways and underappreciated. But there's been a resurgence of indie fascination for her uh, albums of this kind of indie music and what she's about. And people have started to again fall in love with her. She'll be one of those eternal artists that will never go out of fashion simply because she's that creative and inspiring to so many other people and has that distinguished voice that never fails to impress. But I just love the jazzy, laid back, beautiful feeling to this song that I think will wrap up 2023 in the best way possible going into 2024 so to all the subscribers and all the people that have commented on the previous Kate Bush reaction I did thank you very much for all your kind comments thank you I'm going to not just break down the lyrics after this it's too long an introduction but what I will do is give you a wrap up in a story form selecting a few of the lyrics I have in front of me as a tribute to Kate Bush. It really is in homage to one of the greatest musical legends, still living, thank God, that we have in the music industry. And it's just a way of saying thank you for everything, Kate, and the memories of my brother being totally infatuated with you. And look at me, I'm starting to become really infatuated with your music. Better late than never, Kate. The man I love that you're going to hear featuring Larry Adler is a song about longing for and idolizing love of a significant other. The lyrics in front of me suggest Kate's anticipation and hope of the arrival of a special man who will fulfill her desires and make her feel complete. complete. Well, trust me, Kate Bush, you could have been my sister-in-law because my brother was so infatuated with you. Anyway, let's get playing the song, The Man I Love from the woman I love and everybody else is falling in love with, Kate Bush.
lose my way I'll do my best to make him stay He'll look at me and smile I'll understand And in a little while He'll take my hand And though it seems absurd Now everybody, happy 2024. I hope you're finishing off the festive season with a smile, but not before we go and find out what the song is about. The song, this, Kate imagines this man as somebody who's strong as we've heard and will be able to protect and support her. She believes that when they cross paths, she will do everything she can to make him stay in her life. This demonstrates Kate's longing for a deep emotional connection here and a committed relationship. Boy, if you had met my brother Kate, you'd be married to this day, still obsessed with you. And he recently, after 40 years, my brother, with the same partner, Jackie, got married. I think he was holding out for you, Kate, secretly. <laughs> Although my niece and nephew won't be too pleased, and my, sister, my newly crowned sister-in-law by me saying that, but I think me and my brother know the truth. <laughs> he knew he'd never get you, Kate. So the lyrics also convey a sense of understanding and unspoken communication between the speaker and the man that she longs for. Because if you look at the lines, everybody, it says in the lyrics, he'll look at me and smile, I'll understand. And in a little while, he'll take my hand, suggesting a connection that goes beyond words. Simple. It implies a strong emotional bond and a mutual understanding between herself and, him, and the potential him. Now the repeated refrain, maybe I shall meet him Sunday, Monday, maybe not. Still I'm sure to meet him one day, maybe Tuesday will be my good news day. That just conveys Kate's hopeful optimism. It betrays the anticipation of meeting that man that she wants to love and desires to love, emphasizing the uncertainty of the exact timing, but holding on to a belief that so many people do, Kate, that their paths will eventually cross. And isn't it what we all hope for at Christmas, New Year? Now the chorus focuses in, on the idea of, of building a home for two, where Kate feels secure and content, don't we all? 
the repetition of the line from which I'd never roam, who would, sorry, the repetition of this line, where is it, from which I'd never roam, who would, would you? That just suggests everybody a stable and lasting relationship. Think about it. Reflecting on Kate's longing for unconditional love and companionship that this man does represent her in her head. Overall, this particular song that from the artist has been inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame at last in 2023, taking us all into 2024 with The Man I Love, explores what we all in many different forms, shapes, and me breaking down lyrics of other songs have done. It's about longing. It's about a desire for a deep emotional connection and committed relationship, everybody. It's what we all want. We don't want to have a void. We don't want to be on our own. And if a relationship is toxic, we want to break it up to find that person. And if you do, karma does come around to grant you that. It captures this particular song, The Man I Love, anticipation and almost idolization when you think of it of finding that particular love that suits you and what you're looking for it emphasizes kate's willingness to wait like so many other people do kate and her belief that the man she longs for will eventually come into her life if that's what you're seeking i wish it for you love peace and happiness to all of you out there and if and if you loved this particular interpretation of the man i love don't forget to subscribe come on all together now to my channel for 2024 i'm now enrolling are you going to be one of the lucky ones to join my channel and savor all the music from all the artists i have to offer you throughout 2024 i hope so and if you're feeling generous this festive season my tip jar is in the description below for those that are asking Take care for now, and it's only one euro, imagine, to help me buy a cup of coffee. Oh, I'm exhausted. Happy 2024 to you all.